Hi, I'm Harrison, and today I'm going to demonstrate the difference between a traditional brush, a retro brush, and a constructor brush on hydrophobic glass. Traditionally, when you see water fed being cleaned on video online, you can't really see the difference because the water is clear. Today, we've made the water white with a bit of paint in the liquid, and you can see, if you come up close, how the water is reacting on the glass. That's what we call rinse depth. Now if you come over here, you can see that this glass is a little bit more hydrophobic because the water is trickling off multiple times. And if I'm trying to tr clean this properly, then you're starting to see as I finish my agitation process and I start rinsing it, where it starts dribbling off and I have to rinse this very closely. Now this won't dry clean because it's white water. All right, and now I'm here with the constructor brush fitted with the hydro blade with the white water coming out. And as you can see on the glass, you can see the jets almost joining. They're joining up when it comes to here, when it's a little bit more hydrophilic and when it's hydrophobic, they're not. And that's because we're running every second jet for this demonstration. We'll film another video later where we'll have every jet. So as you clean the glass, you're gonna scrub it up and down. And now can you see the difference between how the water is behaving on the glass with the hydro blade in comparison to the water when we was filming with the retro brush. So we'll go up into the corners, down, up into the corners, and we go all the way down, up once, down, up again, down, and up a third time, down. And if that was pure water, that window would be spot free.